Hello survivors and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be looking at William who is a new promo character. He is an ascendable 5 star of course, does turn into a 6 star. He has the title The Whisperer War and I think this is the first character with that title since Heath. The command Heath with 85% attack and defense buff. I got that character two years ago so it's been a wait. It's been a wait. All the other Whisperer characters are either called a new threat or road to survival hashtag one. So we could be seeing some new Whisperer characters around the corner. That'd be pretty cool. Now, looking at the guy's stats uh, on the base, it has 1,596 attack, 1,678 defense, and 1,560 HP. He is a strong character, of course, and is defined as a tank now. As a tank, that is quite pretty balanced stats. But there are other tanks who have balanced stats, namely the strong Victor is defined as a tank, has quite balanced stats. But you kind of want more HP. If you're going to have this guy as like a full-on tank roll, you can of course buff these up with mods and the weapons, so it's not too much of a problem. So we're going to take a look at the adrenaline rush now, and it's called Guard and Strengthen. 85 AP cost, so it is quite slow. Deal 400% damage to up to two enemies. I think that's meant to mean this character and up to two teammates get 55% defense for two turns and gain 45 bonus HP. So for for what that rush gives, it is actually pretty slow. It's only doing damage to two characters and it's only buffing three characters. Well, this this character and two others. So it's not like a super powerful rush. So it's kind of strange that it is that slow. 85 is very, very slow. It's not going to get a, a turn three on defense regardless. Unless you're behind an AP leader, which there are no AP leaders for strong characters. You have to run him behind Carly. That's pretty much your only way you could do it. Or an all teammates like um, Madison. But it, there's no melee leaders who do AP bonus. There's fast leaders, but there's no melee leaders, unfortunately. Looking at the active skill, it's stun. It's slightly different from what we've seen before because it stuns three enemies for one turn. It has got an initial cooldown of three, so slightly slower than like Shiva, who does one enemy for two turns. But it's hard to say whether this is going to be better or not. But you do see, you do potentially CC three characters. They can, of course, resist this. So stun, as much as it is great, it isn't as great as it once was. So, so far, I'm looking at these two things and I'm thinking this guy could be decent on an attack team because he's got a reasonable amount of damage and it, and, it, and he's got some sort of bonus defensive things which you can't really get on attack teams too much. He is a little bit slow for an attack team, so he's not going to go off too often. That's the problem. This is where it gets peculiar because he's got the specialist skills shield. And when I see that shield, I'm just like, why is that there? It doesn't make any sense to me that he's a specialist shield. Because when you see someone with a special shield, it means they're meant to be a good defense team character. Potentially, you could say an active skill is effectively him controlling three characters for one turn, where he could potentially control five characters for one turn as a specialist. But I don't, I don't see the synergy between his specialist skill and his adrenaline rush active skill combo. So that's really strange. Then, then we move on to the weapon. It gets even weirder for me. So we're going to look at the weapon. It has 30% defense, 15% HP. And then it has, when being attacked, a better chance to regain 20% HP. There are two main th reasons you run shields. The first is to protect the other four characters and allow them to gain AP in the process and get their rushes off. That's like one big bonus. You want to force people to attack this guy and it allows other characters to stay alive. But in the process, they gain AP. That way you don't really need commands on defense as much. You know, this guy basically can replace a command. But the biggest problem is, the other main reason you have a, a shield is to try and control the attacking team. AP down, try and force them to have their rushes slower. Stun on defense, try and control them with, you know, crowd control. Impair, just try and be annoying. Obviously, some of these can be resisted, some of these can be cleared, but obviously, absolute defense cannot either. So, absolute defense is just to stop them from... Doing damage, it's a nice little bonus, but it's mainly the AP side of things that is really great there. This doesn't offer anything in the secondary role, which is what kind of every shield should be. So instantly you're going to have to upgrade this to AP down if you want to use this guy on defense. Because this 20 HP, as much as it may be hard to take down, you're going to be gaining free AP. And that means if someone can attack you and you've only got one shield, if someone attacks you and you have... Um, a, a shield bypass anyone with focus on their rush or a focus active 
they'll just get past this guy and they're going to gain AP for free in the meantime. His rush isn't that scary. It's not a taunt or anything, so it's not going to force you to do anything. It'll do a bit of damage, but you're not really going to go in with, against a team like this with, with fast characters. You know? You're know, you not going to go against many teams with fast characters generally. So it's a really strange combo. The, the, the weapon, the rush, and the active could work well together in an attack team. I don't really think the special here is great. But the specialist skill just seems so out of place. It's almost as if it's just been thrown on to just try and sell a character. So people will see human shield and think, it's a human shield, it must be amazing. I don't see it. I don't really see it at the moment. I might be missing something. I might be missing like some special thing that I don't just I just don't see anywhere. But I don't think he's gonna be good as a, a lone shield. He might be okay as a secondary shield. That would have to be like tested out, but he might be okay as a secondary shield. But I think Koa is a better strong shield for sure. His rush is benefits him. He heal, he's got a self heal. There's nothing in his kit which just is, is completely messed up. And William just doesn't seem like he should be a human shield. Like if William was like a berserker or indomitable, you know, any of these, hold the line, any of these sort of things, it would make more sense because he's a tank that has like aggressive parts of his kit. The weapon is still, like I said, a, a bit, bit, uh, bit weird for me. So I'm not really sure about this character. I think if you're desperate for a shield, maybe it's worth pulling for just to get your hands on a shield. You could get lucky with like a one pull or something, but I'm probably, I probably wouldn't pull for this character. If, if this character and Koa were up at the same time, I would 100% say Koa is the better option. And that's not even like trying to calculate how bet how much better this guy's stats potentially are. It's just he has a much worse kit. Which, is, like I said, it's really strange. I'd almost go ahead and say if I saw this character and didn't know whether he was a promo or not, I would say that's going to be the first free-to-play shield because he's not very good. He's not really adding much and he's quite a bad shield. So it's really strange. But, um, but that's it, guys. Do tell me what you think about this character. Are you going to pull for him? Are you going to pull for him anyway? Do you need a human shield and just want to get your hands on a human shield? If you need a human shield, it might be worth it. I don't know when the next human shield is going to come up. You never know. It could be months. So, yeah. Um, that's the end of this video, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. And as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving.